welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zaratustra. Um, also like to share with you that uh, this broadcast, you can find it on my uh, podcast, which is Zaratustra 5D. Uh, the topic of today is if this reality real, what is real and what is not? What is reality? There is um, there is two kinds of reality. There is the relative reality, the one that we're living in, and we're experiencing it right now, which in the relative reality, of course, everything looks very real, like the life that you're living in right now with all these ups and downs and its dramas. And there is the absolute reality. So we're going to dive into it and take a look at it and dissect it and see what is real. The, if you come to this understanding that what is real is that which must be here all the time and that which is fueling off of its own light. It's using its own light and it's here all the time. That's what is real. Something that is not changing. So it's always here and it never changes. That is the absolute reality. That is the real thing. And everything else is a relative to that. Everything else comes and goes. Now, everything that you see in your life is changing all the time. It comes and goes. You can examine it, you can look at it from, you can look at yourself from childhood when you were whatever you remember. You were five years old, eight years old, 10 years old, and you remember your childhood. And now when you fast forward the tape, you can see you went to high school. I mean, you can see you went through a per period of puberty that you, you body change, your hormonal uh, hormones change, your desires change. Uh, you wanted to play with toys before you went to the puberty and then you wanted your agenda changed and you were interested in your in boys and girls that maybe before you weren't interested in them and then as you get older you can just see how your body evolved and you become a young man or a young woman you're 18 19 years old um, you move on, you go to 25, you're at your prime, you can see you're strong, you feel good, you got a lot of energy, you're not afraid of things, you're not tainted by life, and you progress, you go forward. You know, you're in your 30s, you want to get married, you want to have kids, and then you just move on. But when you go back in time and you look at your progress, you remember and you know that you have gone through a series of different um, changes and you remember all of it or most of it. You can, you can see how you evolved. So something kept changing throughout. Physically, you changed and you remember it. Same way with your pattern of thoughts, the way you're thinking. You're not thinking the same way as you were thinking when you were eight years old, 10 years old. Your, your interests have changed. The issues that occupy your mind are different. Um, your, your, also your character has changed, your personality is formed. So, Nothing is the same as 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. 
a lot of things have changed. So you can observe the process of change. So physically, you see everything has changed for you. Um, mentally, you can see that, the way you think about things. Spiritually, you can see that there's been a natural progression of involvement that now maybe you're more interested in the world of the spirit. You're less interested in superficial stuff that maybe in the past you were interested in. Things, they're not occupying your mind about superficial stuff. Um, you're looking into a deeper meaning of life. You're asking questions. You're wondering where you came from. What is your origin? Where are you going to after here? So you can clearly see that there's been a, a progress of changing from something from the childhood, whatever, however you felt and thought and you viewed the life to where you're at now. And when you look back and you see that, that wow, it was very naive, it was innocent, it was beautiful, but so much things have changed and I feel and see things a lot differently today. So things are changing physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but something is not changing. Something remains the same. Something is observing the change throughout all this time. There is something here which making a report, is reporting that I remember, I used to do this, I used to do that, I used to want this and wanted that. So you may say, well, it's me, it's my memory, but something very clearly is aware of everything that have changed all this time. <clears throat> so I want you to kind of look at this look back before I go forward. Just check this out throughout your life, how things have been progressing and changing for you. And you can see it with the economy of the world. You can see it with the politics. You've seen the economy going up and down. You can see that Politically, things have changed. You can observe that some countries that didn't exist, they're born, or countries that existed, they, they were lost. They became a part of another country. Then they separated. So you can see a lot of changes have happened in, in front of you. 